Hi all, this is Kelman 98 here, and welcome back to another requested redstone video. Today, I'm going to be showing off some chest minecart stations that I built on the request of Brian Longwell. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. So I've got two of them set up right here. I've designed two different stations. They both do different things because that's what he requested. He wanted two different stations for the chest minecarts. And so I'll start off with this one because it's simpler. So basically what this one is, is a detector that checks for when a chest minecart is full. So what his problem was, was that he has like a wheat farm, and he has it pick up all the odd drops from all the wheat that it breaks and all that stuff, and it puts it all into a chest, and then a chest minecart brings it back to his base. But the problem is the minecart goes back and forth all the time, and it can cause lag and stuff like that. So... What this thing does is waits until the minecart is completely full and then releases it. So when the minecart comes here, the farm will generate stuff. And then, I'm sorry about the spinning mouse. It's just what happens when I record, as I've said before. Um, minecart will start to fill up from the chest and it'll keep sitting there until finally it's completely full and move on. And, my goodness, my mouse. Okay, so, uh, I'm going to demonstrate it without waiting for it to fill up from this thing. But basically you'd have your farm or whatever you were using put items into the chest right here. And then it would go through this hopper and fill up the chest minecart right here. But since that would take forever to wait for all those to go through, I'm just going to fill it myself. This. So there. Just gotta fill up this one slot right here. And once it's released, oops. Minecart goes over here and starts dropping its items off into this chest. So you can see it's emptying right up here. Items are going through this hopper and into this chest. Uh, I'd like to mention that I did not design this station for dropping off items right here. Um, I found a video from Impulse SV on it. So yeah, this was not my design. Just want to point that out. Um, but yeah, basically this thing works. Pretty much how you'd want it. You just have the minecart run into it and it will load into this chest all the items it has. And once it's empty, it will go back over down the track. And I will go ahead and take the items out so I can demonstrate it. Like this. Right there. It runs out of items, it gets sent back along, and when it hits the end of the track, it will go back and stop at this thing. So the minecart goes through the station right here. Once it's done dropping off its items, it goes through it. And then when it turns around and comes back down the track, it stops again and starts filling up. So that's how that works. Um, it's really simple. Let me get rid of some of these things here. These redstone blocks. It's really simple to build. You just have to have... Actually, let me destroy this real quick. Oops, there. You have to have... The hopper and the chest, obviously. These go over a detector rail that's on a slope like this. Minecarts can't travel through blocks when they're like this. If there's a slope, and then there's a block right next to it, and then up one right there. Um, the minecart can't go through that. The block stops it. And so it will sit here on the detector rail, and comparators will take an output from the detector rails if they have a chest minecart. And they'll output a signal strike that depends on how many items are in the chest. So, when the chest is empty, there's no signal strength. Actually, let me check that just to make sure I'm right. Uh, sorry, I gotta remove all this stuff. Okay, there. So it runs in here. Yes, no signal strength. And then as it starts getting more items, it outputs signal. And this comparator is just comparing the signals. It has a uh, signal strength of 15 from this lever and the signal strength from this chest. And as soon as the chest is completely full, which I showed just a minute ago, the signal strength from the comparator is more powerful. Well, not more powerful, but the same strength as the power from this lever. And that cancels out the lever's signal. And so this stops sending power and the piston retracts. So the minecart gets to go by. Uh, you do need to have some powered rails immediately after the detector rail, or else it will just kind of sit there, because it doesn't have any energy or motion to keep going. Um, but that's pretty much the whole thing. It's super simple to build. You just have the detector rail, run a comparator out of it, 
put up source of power immediately behind this comparator and run that into the piston that holds the block there. So, I mean, I'm not really going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial because that's all there is to it. The next one is just a little bit more complicated. What this one is, is a multi-farm minecart station, I guess. That's what you call it. Uh, so the minecart, you can see, is running back and forth right now. What happens is, you can have multiple version or multiple stations along the same track, and the chest will stop at each one if there are items there. So, I dropped all my redstone blocks. Let me put some in here. It's set up the same way with the piston right here. So if I put a stack of blocks here, the piston will extend, and minecart will stop. Minecart will start filling up as the items go through here, and it will stay there until one of two things happens. The first thing is the chest fills up completely, and if the chest fills up completely, then it will move the block back and it will keep going on because there's no point in it staying there if it can't keep or hold any more items. The second thing that can happen is this chest empties out, which is what just happened. The chest is empty, and so it released the chest, or the minecart chest, because there was nothing more to put into it. So now it's over here at the same station as the one over there, and dropping all of its items off. So, like I said, this one is a little bit more complicated. It took several comparators and some repeaters, some torches, some redstone dust, stuff like that. And basically, it works the same way with just a second uh, calculation up here. So, you can see we've got the same comparator running out of the detector reel right here. And I just stopped this minecart by accident. There. Uh, this comparator leads from this detector rail right here, and it powers the side of this comparator just like the other one, which has a signal strength of 15 coming into the back of it. The reason that I had to put it like this is because if I put a lever directly behind this comparator, it will power this piston and the whole thing will be pointless. So it's doing the same thing as the lever over there was, but I had to put the rest of the dust here so it wouldn't power the piston. So it runs into this comparator right here, Oh, I'm spinning so much. And that thing runs into this AND gate right here. We've got this torch. And so that means that if the chest minecart is completely full, then this torch will turn on. And if this torch turns on, it will power this redstone, which goes to this repeater, which goes to this redstone torch. And, well, when this is powered, the, tor or the piston will retract. So... If both of these, like this comparator down here is off, or doesn't have a maximum signal strength from the chest being full, and then we've got this one up here, if this one is off, then the piston will be, whoa, piston will be extended, sorry. So this top one right here, just comes from the hopper and checks to see if there are any items in it at all. And if there are items in it, then it'll give out a signal strength, and the signal strength will power the piston and make it whoa will make it extend as long as the minecart is not full so there's a lot of explaining <laughs> most of you are probably either bored or completely lost by now I'm just gonna go ahead and show how to build it real quick so let's see go right over here there and just going to build a couple blocks here and a couple blocks here. Grab the rails. The detector rail right here goes on the slope, like I said earlier. There. Like this. And I'll put. Whoa. Ah! My mouse. Why? There we go. Um, there. Boy. There. <laughs> okay. There. Alright. Okay, so that's the track. Next, gotta get the comparators. So you just put that right here. Run the comparator out of it. Whoa. 
run it into another comparator's site, right click that so that it's in comparing mode, I guess, I don't know what the official name for that is, and you want the block behind it right here. I'm very sorry about all the spinning, there's not really anything I can figure out to do about it. Oh, so here, redstone dust with lever, and, ah, oh, I cannot stay still. There. Moment of stillness. So, this comparator right here runs into a block with a redstone torch on top of it. So, ah, the block here, redstone torch on top, and then next to that redstone torch, you want a redstone dust. Like that. And from that redstone dust, you're going to have a repeater down below it. It runs out of it. Like that. Then, ah! <laughs> this is just crazy. This is the worst mouse spinning I've ever had. From that repeater, you're going to run it into a redstone torch. And then, from that, you want to have a piston right in front of it. Like this. And then a block. So that way, it will go over the track and block the minecart. Whoa. Alright, there. Then, you want to do the top part of it, which is right here. Whoa. Block. Right there. With a lever on it. Then you've got to have the comparator. Right here. Make sure you right click it. And run that into a repeater then run the repeater into oops, a block ah, with a torch that's powering this redstone right here so this is the AND gate right here and I think that that is everything just checking real quick to make sure Oh yeah, you need the hopper and chest, obviously. This. And remember, the hopper goes next to the comparator because the comparator takes an output from it. So like that. And there you go. You grab a chest minecart. Oops. There. So this thing will just run back and forth through here. Oops. There we go. So just run back and forth through here for now. Why is it stopping right there? That's pretty strange. Huh. No idea. Like a bug or something. Let's see, do it like this. Sorry, I just gotta test this now. Let's still do it. Oh, there. Now it works. Huh. I do not know why that did. Anyway. You can do this with... I mean, any item works. I've been using redstone blocks as a demonstration. You can use anything you want to. Um, sticks. Okay. So, yeah. You just throw some sticks in here. So there, the items are going into the minecart, because the minecart is not full, and there are still items going through the hopper right now. And, let's see, is there any? Okay, it's almost done. The hopper's about to be empty, and then as soon as it runs out of items, just minecart keeps on going. And, fill this up. And then I'll fill the chest up. Uh, 
that. There. And as soon as the chest is full, even though there are still items in here, it'll move on and keep going. So, yeah. That's how it works. The block will keep or extending just because they're stuck in here. And when the minecart leaves, it's getting a signal strength of zero because it's not detecting any items in the chest. But as soon as the minecart goes on to it, it'll uh, retract again and the we'll, minecart will keep going. So that's pretty much everything. Um, oh yeah, you might want to put some blocks right here like I did on this one next to the piston just to make sure that something doesn't have to have perfect timing and the piston pushes the minecart off the edge. Um, it's possible, it's very unlikely, but if things line up like pretty much exactly perfectly, then it can happen. So you may want to do that just in case it's only a couple blocks and that should do it, just putting them right there. Um, another thing is that this design well, may not work perfectly if you have farms of different types, like with different, that generate different types of items, because it detects when the chest is completely full. So, say you have a wheat farm at the beginning of the track, it fills it up with a half stack of wheat and then moves on to a sugar cane farm, and that fills it up. I mean, the chances of this happening are very slim because you'd have to have like a gazillion items getting dumped into this chest because it just keeps on going once it takes all the items from the place. You'd have to have a whole bunch of items waiting. But yeah, if you have, actually a better example would be if you have like the chest filled up all the way except for one half stack left. Um, every slot is completely full except for the half stack. Then it moves on to a sugarcane farm and it's already full of meat. Well, a sugarcane farm uh, station would detect that there is still some empty space because of the half stack of wheat that's not been filled up yet. And it would also detect that there were still items in the station waiting to be dropped off, but it couldn't put them into the chest because there's a half stack of wheat in the way, and you can't put two items of the same, or different types, sorry, two items of different types in the same slot, obviously. And so the chest would just get stuck there forever. Chances of that happening are very unlikely because, like I said, you'd have to have, like, one farm dump into the chest, like, almost all of it, like, fill it up almost completely. And the way this is set up, that shouldn't happen as long as you're not generating, like, a gazillion items per minute. But anyway, besides that, I think that's everything that I've got to say about this. Two nifty little stations you can use. Oh, and, and I don't know if you noticed this played a sound earlier when the chest stopped here. That's because I added a note block to the side right here next to this block. Um, oh, and also... If the hopper on the station here, like the chest fills up and items back up into the hopper, then the chest will stop. So you have to make sure you do something with the items so it doesn't get clogged up like that and the whole thing freezes up. But anyway, I've said it several times now, that should be pretty much everything. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, or it was helpful to you, or both, preferably. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.